Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So during this quarantine period, I've been really bored. So I've been baking a lot of things recently. So I decided to just record the recipes and post them here on YouTube in case anyone out there wanted to make these same things. I've made muffins, cookies, apple crisp, cake, cupcakes, like anything. So today I have a vegan blueberry muffin recipe, which I am going to share with you guys. It's literally so simple. It takes maybe five or six ingredients and I added some stuff. I added like cinnamon and vanilla, which you'll see in the clips, which if you don't have, you don't have to use. And you can probably substitute blueberries for chocolate chips or any other kind of filling for muffins. But I hope you guys enjoy because this is quarantine baking vlog number one. Not really a vlog, it's just a video. But I hope you guys enjoy. Before I started baking, I preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So it would be ready by the time I was done with my batter and I had filled the tins. So I've already sifted one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to be adding half a cup of sugar. And then after adding half a cup of sugar, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of salt. And then I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of baking powder. Once I added the baking powder, I whisked all the dry ingredients and then I decided to use a little bit of cinnamon. So I put in a few dashes and then continued whisking it. Next, I added three quarters of a cup of milk and then continued whisking until it was thoroughly combined. I also added a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract to my batter. Then I added a quarter of a cup of oil and then continued whisking until that was completely combined with the rest of the ingredients. Once my wet and dry ingredients were combined, I added a cup and a half of blueberries and then used a spoon to gently fold it into the batter. For this recipe, I used a mini cupcake tray to make mini blueberry muffins, and I filled each of the tins three-fourths of the way with the batter, and this yielded about 24 muffins. Fifteen minutes later.